So now, as energy prices have risen and greenhouse gases are having a noticeable effect on our environment, there may finally be a solution on the horizon. Solar energy, but not your typical solar energy, a more affordable and efficient use of this natural resource to increase any nation's security and economic stability by securing an energy source that's independent from their neighbors. BrightSource, along with other companies and government departments like the Department of Energy, have been helping to pioneer what some would call the most efficient way of harvesting the sun's energy. By using a field of mirrors to focus the sun rays into both usable and storable energy, with the use of federal and state grants already in place, it is possible that in the next few years, we will start to see a majority of our energy come from this very method. If the sun provides enough electrical energy in one hour that hits the surface of the earth, than all of humanity uses in an entire year. So a lot of our current other energy sources use the sun indirectly. Wind, hydro, even oil is long ago stored solar energy. It's like a sunny day in Southern California. Although it's nighttime, all the lights in this room are currently being powered by stored solar energy. Yeah, it's Bob Del Sol, B-O-B. And so well. Several different ways to take the energy directly from the sun, concentrate the thermal energy, and do steam generation just like we do currently with all of the regular fossil fuel. Because you're absorbing the thermal energy from the sun, you can store that heat and use it when, at night when the sun's not shining. We should focus on the simplest, most sustainable solutions, and using the heat directly from the sun is one of those solutions. This solar array in the Israeli desert is testing technology for solar plants under construction in California. The money that's going to be thrown at these problems is enormous. It's all about higher efficiency driving lower costs, and that can help make solar thermal compete directly with fossil fuels. We need to look for a sustainable solution. There is no energy source on the planet that's going to be able to accommodate the energy needs of the future.